Hello, welcome back to Blender Chichi Live Noding. I want to do a breakdown of this character, this I dude character. So this is um, kind of like a big version. It doesn't have UV. Um, and this one have multiple material assigned into each different parts. And this is actually just the default cube. And originally I created this character using geometry nodes. All right, so this is Blender 2.93. You can also use 2.92 to create something like this. However, the material assignment is only work with the 2.93. So, so, so this is material assignment. And you can see I'm using lots of join geometry. Um, so I can tell you the breakdown from the last node. So this used to be how it's gonna work. Like I said, this is just the basic uh, default cube and I'm only using this geometry nodes modifier. This is probably not the most elegant uh, node setup at the moment, but it could be, could be made more elegant. So currently it is also animating. So I think the easiest to explain is this animations first. So the animation part, um, you might already can guess, it's just the, the eye blink. So the eye blink, and this is just a bunch of sine and cosine, all driven uh, using different frame offset and frame speed added together with map, map range to drive the rotations. Okay, so there's an upper eyelid and a lower eyelid. Each one of them is being controlled by these rotations. So this is the bottom part, I think. So these actually created uh, the eyelid. Would be, perhaps it would be easier if we actually kind of uh, create like a frame and it just says this is like eyeballs maybe this is to keep everything kind of nice and tidy so anyway the, actually the I can start from here this is of course the first input that comes in is just the default cube. So I subdivided the default cube. So we have this more rounded character. So I can go all the way to level three, but my computer is a bit slow, but this is actually working. Okay, so that's pretty easy to understand. Subdivided surface, now it's becoming rounded. So I started with a default cube. So I can I can draw a little bit. Okay, and then boolean. Boolean, boolean transform. You can see here I'm using some kind of thickness to control the eyelid or something. So thickness. And then yeah, I'm using boolean difference, so that's minus. And there's another boolean, this one, I think. I'm controlling half sphere. So I'm cutting this part. So I started to make like the, the upper eyelid with a thickness. And then I will make like a controller for the eyeballs. Uh, so like I said, this is not the most ideal or elegant node 3 because um, ideally I want to be able to just present a geometry and then I want to have like a modular cutter that makes like a eye hole and then this one will create place for the eyeballs. So this, this is what I'm thinking to do next. But for now, it's just like a Kind of like a brute force quick um, improvisations to make this character 
so I have rotations the cool thing about geometry nodes is that you can at any time you can split the geometry into different parts from this guy I'm splitting and then I have another transform whenever we use another transform it's kind of duplicating itself and then you can combine it together so it become this eyeballs with S and then now I can I can sort of transform it I actually scale it so so this is the eyelids that I scaled so like uh, this one also I could make it better so that it scale with the eyeballs um, I'm also I'm rotating here but that's okay it's like it's part of the transform there's a lot of transform nodes all over the place here and then you know, this one seems to be finished and taking the material so this default cube have already have multiple material all I need to do is to play with this integer just to pick the color that I want this material index attributes it's a it's a hidden um, attributes and then join geometry is simply just join them into a single object so you can pass it to the next one um, I can explain the one at the end this one is just to put the character <coughs> on the floor I think I actually get rid of the bottom part the bottom part can be something else so like with this character you can you know like you can extend this character and turn it turning it into a different kind of design I think that could be kind of nice or like this bottom part you can make like this kind of this type of oops character haha <laughs> it actually crashes when when I when I tap on this control so let's reopen blender 2.93 this is um, still blender 2.93 alpha if you use 92 it will be a lot more stable if you continue anyway so lots of um, boolean cut so you start with a default cube and then you turn it into rounded um, yeah so let's continue so this is the end part this is join attribute fill I think this is actually me adding the the black part of this character yeah this is just an extra part geometry let's see this is the difference this is actually cutting the top part so this is a uh, yeah if I draw the whole setup start with default cube I actually decided to make upper and lower eyelid that way and there's this guy that's also there's a bigger cube and I make a boolean cut so this is almost like a minion minion character um, yeah lots of boolean cut this one is cutting the eyeballs and put the eyeballs on top of it I think the rest is actually making sense the hardest part is probably the upper and lower eyelid but uh, I, I have also this uh, this black part of the eye that's been generated see I can I can play around with the character a little bit like with the shapes the boolean underneath kind of doing the, the job so this, this is kind of nice and cool so we have a different character with the eyeball still happening so this is a uh, yeah this is I think this is one of the boolean cut it's not the cleanest but you get the idea it's just to so that we have place for the eyeballs so that's definitely the one that's doing the cut there so let's see what else we have okay this is the cut for the bottom part so that's not very important I can collapse it and I think 
I'm more proud of the, the eyeball here. Uh, with the nose, I think, so you can give like a label. You can also colorize it if it's really like important and part of the character. So, so that's the scale. I can make the eyeballs more rounded. So that's also something to consider. What is this part? This, oh yeah, this is the black part of the character. It's the pupil. Okay. Yeah, it's totally like a different character. So the focus of this node 3 uh, geometry creation is just to think about eyeballs and how you can use boolean to cut it to cut the default cube just these two elements that you can use to, to make uh, all kind of cutters to make the eyeballs so the whole thing is procedural it's a, it's a very interesting exercise actually especially with the eyeball so this is the basic idea this kind of thing so once you have that if you make like a more elegant geometry nodes you can let me know I'm, I will try to make myself also you can make anything basically so with this idea if, you, if the character is like two two dimensional you can make like a, okay this is like a crab put a happy face put a leg this character like I said you can have legs that's actually a cut from the bottom sphere make like a spider cute little spider character you can have of course like a more proper like a spider character or like also think about the mouth um, but yeah I think it could work pretty well for like a robotic character uh, with all this mechanical part that can be animated okay so yeah that's pretty much it and if you export it as obj or glb with blender 2.933 you cannot export as glb because it's gonna complain but this is alpha anyway so the whole thing is just the default cube if you have another default cube and then you make a little bit of changes and then you apply modifier maybe it will work maybe it doesn't but it does it does work and it, <laughs> it crashes but anyway that's a quick look at how you can create a character a very simple character with an eyeball all right so thanks again for tuning in and i'll see you next time thank you bye